Okay guys, my youngest baby is turning one. One, it has been almost a full year since I gave birth to Miles. I honestly can't believe how fast this year went. And this year, his birthday falls on Easter weekend. So in a little celebration to celebrate my babies, my last baby's first birthday, I'm gonna be painting a mommy and baby bunny because, well, he's my little bunny. And I thought it would be appropriate for Easter and it's just a lot of fun to do. So happy birthday to my beautiful little boy, Miles. And let's get started on painting these adorable little bunnies. Okay, so today we're gonna to be painting a mother and baby bunny. This is in honor of my son's first birthday. His birthday is this Easter weekend. So I thought it was just appropriate to have really cute mother and son bunny um, for our painting today. So I'm gonna be painting in my Etcher Lab Cold Press Watercolor Sketchbook. I have my Winsor Newton Professional Watercolors. I have my Emma Lafave Craft and Mold Brushes. And then I also have a pencil and an eraser. Um, part of me is thinking I might use my Faber-Castell watercolor pencils for some of it later on. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of winging this. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I know you can already kind of see an outline. And the reason why I did that is because um, when I draw things, it doesn't always turn out perfect the first time. And I didn't want to spend like 20, 30 minutes trying to get the correct shape. Um, but I am going to show you kind of how I went about sketching the outline of this. And this is from a reference photo, which I'm going to put right here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to sketch this, but I did want my outline. So I only had to do it once and then not erase and do it and erase and do it over and over again. Um, so yeah. And if you need to trace something instead, you can definitely do that whatever works for you. Um, but it's just gonna be very simple mother and son bunny. And okay, let's begin. So when I am drawing any kind of animal, I always try and look for the most basic shapes within that animal. So even just looking for my outline, you can kind of see some of these basic shapes. Like this baby bunny has like this oval shape head. Okay, so you could always draw that in. Um, for the adult bunny, you can see it's kind of like an awkward shape. So I try and look for shapes within this shape. So I, you're gonna draw a circle, just a regular circle. And then it has this kind of like, you know, their little cheeks. So I'm just gonna do two little circles on the end. And I know, it looks super weird. And then the body is kind of like this triangular shape. So right from the back of the head, I'm gonna do this kind of like rounded triangle shape. And I know I'm doing this very light, but you wanna keep it light so it's not too, too dark. I'll actually, I'll move my camera up so you can see just a bit better. Okay, hopefully this is a little bit better. So we have our circle, we have our two little um, circles there, and then we have this kind of triangular body shape here. Okay, and then from the ears, right kind of in the center of this uh, circle, you're gonna do, you're gonna come up, and this ear looks like it was like kind of flopping over, so you're not really gonna see the point. So it kind of comes to this rounded edge and then it's gonna come back down, always a little bit wider at the base than at the top. And then this ear, you're gonna come up on an angle, like maybe two centimeters-ish, depending on how big you're doing this or how small you're doing this. Um, and then you're gonna come and just go straight across. And then you're gonna come back down, kind of on the same angle as this, almost, just slightly off. And then you're gonna do a wider, kind of line going up and then just make it kind of cut it off there. And I know this looks super weird. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to do kind of the, like these oval feet, one, two, and then the back foot is a little bit bigger here. Okay. See the shapes in there. I know this is light, but I don't want it to be too dark. And then our bunny, our little baby bunny, we're going to do, so we have our oval shape and you're going to kind of go over one of those circles because they're like really kind of snuggling in there. Um, it's almost kind of more like an 11, right? So it's a little bit wider towards the center, like that. And then the ear is gonna be similar to this one, pointing that way, but smaller, right? So you're gonna kind of come up on an angle and then you're gonna go straight out. And then you're gonna come back in. This kind of just curves down like that cut across and then just make it a little bit wider there. And then this one behind 
is just another little ear. So I try and look at the angles of the curves of stuff um, when I'm drawing it just to see like, is there a slight curve? Is it really um, bent or is it a bit more flattened out? Those are the kind of things I look for. And then the back of the bunny, you're just going to kind of come slope down here and just round out that bottom. You only see a tiny little bit of this back foot. You see a front foot here, an oval, tiny little bit of the front foot there. Okay. So now this looks super weird, right? But we're just going to um, erase the inside lines. So um, actually we should connect this first. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to come up over because this part of the head is going to be in front of the ear. I'm going to come up in front and I'm just going to kind of come down. I'm going to cut down to this little circular shape. Go around that circle. I know it looks a little weird, doesn't it? This is why I wanted to have my outline, but I kind of drew over my outline. Okay. You're going to come down. And then there's that circular kind of shape. And it kind of comes inside just a little bit here because that's like where the mouth is. And then comes back out. Now I'm trying again, because we're not going to be doing sharp lines for this. Um, it's going to be fur, right? And then I'm just going to erase this. And we're going to do a little kind of triangular, or I'm sorry, like a V nose here. Like that there we go that looks a little better but these sharp lines are gonna look a little weird just because they're fur right they're not these like really sharp sharp lines then I'm gonna erase this part so that kind of comes up there I think this one's pretty good a lot of the shape we're gonna be doing with shading just you don't want your lines too straight and detailed so I'm trying to make it really loose. Okay, I'm just going to erase inside these little um, ovals there. And the shape of this rabbit's head is a lot more rounded. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, and then the bunny here, we're going to erase this line going into the ears. And just lighten up that head a bit. And this bunny has the little nose down here, but has this like little kind of circular bit for the, the mouth. I'm going to do a little nose like that. And we don't have to erase too, too much on this. I'm just going to make it lighter. Okay. The whole thing I kind of want to make just a little bit lighter because we're going to be doing like the bunnies are light in color, so we don't want it too dark underneath our watercolor. Okay, so there's kind of like our outline. Hopefully you can see it. Um, if you're part of my Patreon, in the third tier, I provide um, some tracing pages too. For all my tutorials that require you to draw something beforehand, I require or I provide tracing pages within the third tier. Um, I think that's my ultimate patron. I'd have to check, but yeah. So check that out if you're someone who follows my tutorials but wants those tracing pages. That's where you can find them. Okay, so now that we have our outline, we are going to do our first layer. Oh, the eyes, the eyes. Okay, so the eye is about right here. And I'm just going to do like this curve like that. And then there's like, let's do an eyeball. So like a tall oval and then a little kind of curve kind of goes up here like that and I might add some eyelashes to it later it doesn't have to be super realistic and then the eye for this one um, let's do like a little circular eyeball and you're going to start more narrow on this side and you're going to come up over the eye that way like kind of like on a side triangle shape and just kind of come around he looks a little angry doesn't he I feel like I need to make it a little bit wider more circular. I don't know if that's right, the right placement or not. I feel like it might need to be this way a bit more. Okay. 
like so. Okay, I think that's pretty good. That's as good as we're gonna get there. Okay, so now let's begin painting. So I'm gonna take my size 12 brush and I'm gonna get a really light wash of burnt umber. So really light brown, I'm just gonna put it over here in my yellow area, really light wash. I'm gonna start with the mom bunny and you, you can do whatever color bunny you want. I'm doing little brown ones and I'm just gonna go over the whole bunny with this really light wash of brown. And I wanna try and keep it wet. I'm actually gonna leave the inside of the ear a bit. And go right next to this little bunny. Always start with a light wash because some of these areas are supposed to be more on the like white side, really, really light. But because when we're painting white objects with watercolor, nothing is that we never just leave it white. Um, we're just doing a really light wash. This is going to be like the highlight color. And then we're going to add in those darker shadows. And the way I like to do it with watercolor is I like to do this first wash. And while it's still wet, I go back in and add the darker colors so they can kind of bleed. So this is obviously a little bit dark, but that's okay. Okay, so now while it's still wet, I'm gonna go back in. And if you, yours is already dried, you can just take some water and just continue to go over the whole thing to make it evenly wet because we're gonna drop in some darker color for the shadows. Okay, so I'm just making sure it's evenly wet all over the bunny. Now I'm gonna take some more burnt umber and I'm gonna start placing it in darker, in the areas that are a bit darker. That's a bit too dark. So right here up on the, the top of the ear, this ear is a bit darker. Right down in the front of the face here is a bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna leave highlights around the eyes The top of the nose area is a bit darker. And then right under this head, and the neck right here. It's gonna be a bit darker. And then there's kind of like these just fur lines. And I know it looks weird. <laughs> it always looks weird at this stage. And then right underneath here, it's gonna be pretty dark. The feet are on the darker side. Okay, you just wanna make sure it's all still wet. There's like kind of like a crease here. Like that. And then I might just add a little bit more darkness just into some of the areas where they kind of meet each other. So where this ear meets the head, right over here, right there, just kind of helps sharpen it up in a little bit of places where the neck meets the head there, where the feet or the belly kind of lays behind the feet. a little bit in there right around the nose okay again I know looks weird <laughs> okay if you're getting some areas that you find like um, are a bit too explosive you can just wash and draft your brush and then just kind of blend it out a bit and just lift some of that color. Like so. Okay. So there's the first layer, I know, kind of looks crazy, but we'll get it, <laughs> of our first bunny, and we'll do some more after. Okay, 
Now let's do the baby bunny. Okay, so make sure that this is dry before you touch the baby bunny because then if this one is a bit more wet and that's starting to dry, you might get a weird water bloom into the larger bunny. So let's wait for this to dry first. Actually, I wanna, even though there's no pink in the picture, I just wanna take a little bit of pink for the nose here. I'm just gonna drop a little bit of pink in there. There, just a little bit because it's more of an illustration for me. And you know what? We can do a little bit of pink in the ear too, just while it's still a little bit wet and it can blend out. There we go. Okay, now let's wait for it to dry and then we'll do the baby bunny. Okay, so now that it's dry, we can do the little one here. So again, we're going to do the same kind of thing, grabbing a really light wash of our brown, and we're going to go over the whole little bunny here. It's just kind of missing the eye. And around Mama. Starting with our light wash. We want it fairly wet so we can go back in and add some more... Um, just darker color to make it kind of explode. Give us some of those soft blends. I'm going to leave the inside of that ear a bit. That's a little bit darker. It's all good. They're already so cute. Okay, so now that it's all wet, just kind of re-wetting the area so I can drop in that darker color. Now, where it's going to be a little bit darker is right under Mama's face. Okay, there would be a little bit of a shadow there. I'm going to go around the top of the head a little bit, around here, around the bottom of the neck, kind of coming up here. right underneath the head over here. Now this one's a bit more in the shadows, so I'm just gonna put a bit more darker bits there, towards the back here. The back ear. this ear a bit. So this is starting to dry. So I'm just going to wash off my brush, dry it a bit, and just blend this out so I can make it a little bit more wet so things can blend in a bit better. This ear is starting to dry. My lights are hot today in my office, so it's making things dry a little bit faster. But if you just clean off your brush and then wet the area again, you should be okay. Okay. Like that. Then I'm going to just take up a little bit of the nose here just so I can add in a little bit of pink. So I just washed and dried off my brush lifted some of that color and I'm just adding a tiny little bit of pink there and then I'm gonna put it in the ear here like that okay so then we have to wait for this one to dry before we continue with that one but I know it looks like a, <laughs> a mess but we're gonna fix it okay so now hmm Part of me is wondering if I should bring out some of the watercolor pencils for this, just for some more texture and fun. Um, I think I want to try it. So I'm just going to see, I have like this similar kind of brown here. I'm just going to pull some of these browns. Um, I'm going to want a darker one. And then you can just do this with your watercolor wherever I place the shadows um, and just do small kind of strokes like that. So let me just kind of, yeah, I think this will be really cool. 
So I'm just going to shade in some areas a bit more. So I'm just going to do these little kind of like hair like strokes along the face because then once I hopefully blend it out, it'll be a bit darker there, but also leave a bit of texture. I feel like this might be a bit too yellow. So I'm just going to do these tiny little, oops, I forgot it was wet there, hair like strokes, especially like you don't want, I'm not going to do fur all over the whole thing because I feel like that would be just a bit crazy and a bit much. I just blend that out. But I do want to kind of add these little fur strokes with the pencils like that. And like I said, if you don't have watercolor pencils, you can always just take a really small fine detail brush, grab your brown and wherever I'm putting it, you can just do the same kind of little strokes like I'm doing with the pencils, okay? But I'm just gonna play around, see how this goes. Um, I feel like let's do like the dark part of the nose here just to kind of gauge where that is. So I'm just kind of drawing it out and you could always do that with your paint or if you wanted to take like a pen, a black pen to make it nice and dark, you could. And then I'm just going to shade down here just a bit. Like that. And then it has these little whisker areas here. But I don't want it to be too noticeable. So I'm just going to blend it out a bit. I got to do it on the other side. And we'll have to do like the actual like little whiskers. I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, let's go back to some of those like fur strokes. So there's a bit more shading up right up the nose here. So I'm just going to add, you can even just kind of color it in if you wanted to. Really lightly. Because it also kind of gives that furry texture. I think looks really cool. And you could just do this with regular pencils, like the colored pencils, and just leave it with this pencil texture too. That could be really cool. I'm going to just shade right over here because the other eye would be on this side. We just wouldn't see it. So I wonder... If I use my pencil and I'm just kind of blending it out, I don't know if I like it actually blended out. I kind of just like the texture of the, mm, this is also a little bit more on the yellow side. You guys are watching me figure this out in real time. <laughs> don't know if I like that. That's fine. I like the color of the pencil, but not when it's like the watercolor. I feel like that is not ruining it. It's not going to get ruined. I'm going to figure this out. I probably should test out some of these colors beforehand. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, this is a better color, I think. This one is nougat. So I'm going to let that dry because once you wet it, if you start drawing over top of it with the watercolor pencil will become darker. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry and I'm just going to kind of add some fur behind here. It'd be a bit darker right behind the head where the head meets the ear here. I'm just trying to blend that out. I don't know if I like them as watercolor pencils for this. I kind of just like the pencil texture after. So I might just leave that. Let's, you know what? I'm gonna just shade with my, my uh, watercolor and then I'm gonna draw with the watercolor pencils after. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna start adding a little bit more shadows to things. So just kind of going over with some darker brown. I didn't like the color that that pencil left. 
It's a bit too yellowy for me. I'm just going to keep grabbing some burnt umber for this. And we're going to add some white after too. So if you have a white ink or a white gel pen, that would, that would work as well. A bit of darkness in there. You can even grab a little bit of a darker brown. So I have like sepia. I'm gonna put some darkness under here. Just kind of oops, blend it out. I'm trying to use like a tiny amount of paint because I don't want it to be too dark. Okay, so it's going to be dark in here. There's like a shadow in here between the two bunnies. And then under the belly. And right in here. Under the foot. It's coming together though, I think. <laughs> I think. It's all about adding those darker areas in the right places. Like the tiniest little bit of darkness can really make an area pop. Like just these little bits of dark, like that looks a little weird. So I'm gonna wash off my brush, dry it a bit, and then kind of just blend it out. So it's not as harsh. You can just do these like little strokes to make it look a bit more like fur. Same here, just blend it out a bit. See how those little, like adding the little darker areas, like right there, right there, right there, right there, just makes it kind of come alive a bit more. And a light wash, I feel like over here, just kind of doing a little bit of dry brush too is a nice texture. So when you don't have a lot of water on your paint, you're just kind of skimming the brush over areas. So it just leaves a little bit of pigment. Oh, that's a foot back there I gotta do. I feel like this area looks a little weird. off some of that color. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, Okay, and then we'll move on to the next bunny. So again, I'm just grabbing some more burnt umber. And I'm just gonna start, again, just shading a little bit more. So around this head for sure. Just to kind of, so you can see the shape of the head. Just these little tiny kind of fur marks. And then we'll just blend it out a bit, just touching it with a little bit of water taking off some of that color because you don't want it like a sharp line right and I'm just using like a dry brush to kind of blend it out a bit right under the ear here just gonna add a little bit of color I'm gonna wash off my brush and then just blend out the edge like that right in the ear here. This ear back here is a bit darker as well. 
I'm going to grab, start grabbing sepia. It's a little bit darker, a little bit ashier, not as warm of a brown. And I'm just using like the absolute minimal amount of paint for this. Shading. That ear looks a little odd, but that's okay. It's a little bit too pointy. There we go. And then same with this one. Need it a bit more rounded at the tip. So there's a bit more darkness right in the ear here. A bit of darkness right there. And then under mom right here. Let's do the nose. Just that little V. And the kind of little curve for the mouth. And we'll do the little whiskers after. i put again a little bit more darkness there. Underneath the chin. And then the belly and the, where the foot is. Where they're kind of huddled together. Now it's pretty dark, but I'm going to blend it out. So I placed it there washing and drying off my brush and then I'm just gonna kind of just blend it a bit make it a bit softer do some like little fur strokes And this foot back here. Just adding a bit more darkness where they're meeting together. See how those little details just make all the difference? Now I'm going to use my dry brush and just kind of no water, just kind of scrubbing a little bit of color like that like the tiniest little bit okay now I want to do the eyes and then we're going to finish off with the what's it called the color pencils <laughs> okay so you could if you wanted to do kind of like um like you, you you could use a pen or a pencil for this whatever um feels better for you i'm just gonna use my really tiny brush in my hand and i'm just gonna kind of fill in this eye I'm always scared about the eye because I'm like, please do it right or else it could mess up or it could like make it so much better. So the whole thing's kind of black. Actually, that makes it look better. Okay, that whole shape. I'm gonna do like a little bit of an eyelid there. <laughs> Just a tiny one. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, and then the same thing with the mom. The mom, you see a bit more of like the curve here. I might even give the mommy eyelashes. Has this curve there. Filling in the eye with a little bit of white. Cute. I might use a little bit more just to kind of like an eyelid. It doesn't have to be realistic, so I'm just going around it just a tiny bit. 
I'm going to use like a tiny bit of brown. Just kind of go around the eye a little bit, like a really faint line. Like that, very, very faint. Like that. I'm just going to grab a bit more black and just make it a little bit darker. Like that. Cute. Okay. So there we go. And then, I don't know, does the eye need to be bigger? I feel like it needs to be a bit more rounder and bigger. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, now I'm going to grab those pencils and I'm just going to do a little bit of shading just along the sides, especially like the, or the edges to make it look like there's this like fur coming off of it and just use some of this for texture for the fur. Okay. I'm going to kind of shade a little bit here with the pencil and I'm not going to use it to with water. Just do these little kind of marks and this is the nougat color. I feel like I'm going to shade here just for some texture as well. And then we'll It needs to be a bit more color over here, actually. I'm just going to blend that out a bit. Maybe even just grab a little bit of burnt umber. This side of the face is missing a little bit. That looks weird. I'm going to blend it out before it dries. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. I'm just creating these little fur-like strokes. So not over the whole thing, just in like certain little areas. Again, just making things darker. Make it dark over here where the eye would be on that side. And don't forget we're going to add our whiskers and everything too at the end. I'm going to grab some white. Okay, the white pencil doesn't do too much. So I'm going to grab my bleed proof white ink here. Sorry, there you go. <laughs> Dr. Peach Martin's bleed proof white. Love this stuff. And it's just a really nice opaque paint. And I'm just going to add a couple like little white strokes to some of the highlighted areas. Especially like on the ears and stuff. lighten up around the eyes a little bit like so and you see like I've left a lot here without fur and it's totally up to you like if you want to fill it in you totally can like it's there's no rules honestly this is just kind of how I prefer it like I prefer less texture all over and just like in certain areas but if you wanted to, you definitely could fill in the whole thing with like these little fur strokes if you wanted, but that's up to you. Okay. And then lastly, I'm just going to take, I'm going to take a black, just very little bit, just for these little 
whisker dots there. I'm going to show on this one too. I'm going to try and do these little bunny whiskers very lightly. If you wanted to take your black and just kind of deepen any more little areas that could use a bit more shading, you could always just deepen it just that much more. Like that. And that's about it, I think. I think we're done. I'm like too scared to add anything else. Um, I feel like I, I mean I could always keep going part of me wants to add just like a green grass or something to the bottom here just under them I'm just taking a wash of green just so it's not like they're just floating nowhere Take a little bit of the darker and you can always add in some, you know, little blades of grass if you wanted to. probably take my really tiny brush just have some of the grass kind of peeking up from their paws like so and there you go there is our mom and baby bunny. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.